you, it's been a while since we've done a video showing uh, touching and anodizing lines and some of the features and things have changed over the last few years. This particular system uses a red light and green light to tell you whether tanks are in temperature range or out of temperature range. Also uses indicating process timers. We have a built-in air agitation and push air blower. We have a, uh, an air diaphragm pump to pump out the tanks. We have a motion sensor to shut off the DC output. If somebody moves their arm within range of the uh, anodizing tank, we have the remote control tied to the red light. So if we are outside of temperature range, not only do we get an alarm saying there's a problem and get a red light, but the output on the power supply is inhibited. also have it set up so that programming of the remote can only be done if this switch is in the administrator mode. That allows programming to go on, like we just did there, but if we turn the switch off, of course you can lock that, turning the switch off, you get a message that it's locked. This system also has a drying station, dryer station, allows the parts a place to drip. We also have an air curtain here, we're using some of that low pressure air, and we're actually pushing air across the parts to help them dry more quickly. The air is actually coming from a heated tank, that's where the air supply is, that's a 130 degree tank. Obviously, since this system's going uh, overseas, we have the thermostats in degrees Celsius, not degrees Fahrenheit. This system is also designed to be pushed up against the wall, so all the electric components are hidden behind the front panel, which folds down. So you need no normal rear access for this line. All of the maintenance is up front. We have the power supply on a cart. And the power supply just plugs in. It's ready, basically ready to go almost literally out of the box. This customer also opted to buy stainless steel passivation line. We're putting that together as well. 